Hey, what's up, guys? This is Matt. And I'm Taylor. And we're at the video game archive on campus. And we're going to see how we used to have to climb uphill two ways to play video games. And, and we used to have to use dice. But now it's on the keyboards and the computers and... You, you, the digital... What? Stuff. I don't even know. What's your name, Sunny Girl? <laughs> Taylor. What exactly do you have here at this exhibit? We try to collect materials that will document the process of game development, uh, game developers themselves, and some of the inner workings of the video game industry. These uh, two circuit boards here are from Super Nintendo games that uh, actually never made it to market. Um, so they were games that were developed up to a very high level. The actual game was made, but it was never released to the public. Uh, this is a, a test cartridge, as you can see, for uh, a game called Son of Mule, which was the sequel to the original uh, Mule game. The story goes according to George Sanger, who donated it to us. He, he worked on the music for that game, too. The uh, Electronic Arts wanted to uh, include a bunch of guns and violence in Mule, which if you're familiar with the original Mule game, it's not like that at all. It's more like trading and interstellar uh, atmosphere. <laughs> All right, Matt here again. And one of the more important things that we have to remember is that video games haven't always been around. We used to have pen and paper games, and we actually uh, they actually have a good collection of some of the pen and paper games here. Do you care to explain on some of this? Uh, sure. These are uh, some of the games that uh, Warren Spector donated to the archives uh, because he actually worked for uh, TSR. Uh, which is the company in Wisconsin, I believe, that put out all the uh, Dungeons & Dragons games. He worked on the Dungeons & Dragons games, uh, but also on this, for instance, Buck Rogers' Battle for the 20th Century. But even before he worked for TSR, he also worked for a pen and paper game company uh, that's in Austin called Steve Jackson Games. And uh, here's one of the games that Spectre worked on. <laughs> Well, that was the video game archive here at the Briscoe Center. We did learn a lot of cool stuff. We learned about the history of video games. We learned about how role-playing games influenced him. What in the hell are you doing with the wind, Taylor? My hair. I'm just making it look good. This is why video game nerds only stay inside. Back to you guys.